The Surf Cup 2008 about ready to get started this boys under 13 match. The Santa Clara Sporting will be playing the Midwest Wings. Hello again, everybody. I'm Greg Porter for GK for George Landon Video Sports Productions, along with Steve Mailer on the camera. I do go by GK and at, uh, sometimes. And uh, let me go ahead and get you uh, the lineups. First, though, before we do that, going from left to right, it will be the uh, Midwest Wings on your picture screen, and Santa Clara Sporting will be going from right to left. The head coach for the Midwest Wings as we are underway is Bill Decker, and the team manager is Brian Taborn. The assistant manager is Jimmy Williams. From that Northern Illinois Soccer League, the keeper for the Midwest Wings will be Christian Taborn. And uh, number two at forward will be Nikola Bosnik. Bosnik. Number three at forward will be uh, Jonah Nuno Sheldon. Number four at left mid will be Christian Hennock. He is also a, a captain along with uh, Christian Taborn. Number five at right or left defender is Ruben Saavedra. Number six at right defender will be Demetrius Georgialis. Number seven at right uh, midfield will be Jake Kogan. Number eight at midfield is Matthew Kimmel. Number nine at left forward is George Huzinius. Number 10 at forward is Michael Leon. Number 11 at sweeper is Martin Alba, Martin Alba, that is. Uh, at midfielder defender is Jordan Nickel. Number 13 at forward is Tony Moreno. Number 16 at left mid is Alex Gomez. Number 17 at uh, center back is Nick Newman. Number 18 at midfield is Tommy Brannigan. Number 20 at forward is Kenton Andrews. And number 29 at left defender is Brandon Orea. And now for the lineup for the Santa Clara Sporting. Uh, are, they are head coached by Dimitri Kokianis. The team manager is Amy Boy. The keeper has a missed try on that one is um, by the wings is uh, Anthony Macias. Number two at forward is Lyndon Gooch. Number three at defender is Sergio Valencia. Number four at midfield is Andres Ochoa. Number uh, six at midfield is Sam Epstein. Number seven at midfield or forward is uh, David Gillen. Number eight at defender is Nathan Petrie. Number nine at midfield or forward is uh, Rainer Platinos, number 11 at midfield or forward is Andrew Platon. Number 12 at forward is uh, Alejandro Flores. Number 13 at midfield is Alex Prusa. And we have a play inside the six yard box and they're able to get it out defensively for Santa Clara Sporting. Number 14 at midfield is Kyle Kogianis. Number 16 at defender is Christian Aldama. The 17 at defender is Daniel Galvan. 18 at uh, forward is uh, Zilong Zochit. Number 21 at midfield is Bryce uh, Clark. And number 25 at midfield is Brad Baumgartner. And a goal. Up to midfield. Both teams trying to get a hold of that soccer ball. The wings now on the attack toward the attacking third in the corner. Defending there is Galvan. And it goes out of play. And it's going to be a CK for the wings. Taking it is, Lee, is uh, Alba. Martin Alba is going to take it. So Alba looking for somebody in and around an 18-yard box. Alba bends it outward off the header, and the Sporting come up with it, trying to push that soccer ball up the field. But coming across the field that time was Araya, and it will be a foul going against the Sporting. So it'll be a free kick. Nice play by Brandon Araya to come across and cut that off. If he doesn't do that, they got a good counterattack going. Off the bounce, 
being able to make the save for the sporting is Anthony Macias. Macias setting it upfield in this boys under 13 game to the far side. As a sporting trying to get something going. It goes out of play. George Alice, I believe, throwing that one in. I'm the far side touchline. Coming on over there it is uh, Kogan. As they push towards that 18 yard box, Kogan's still over there and is knocked off. Still in the field of play as a sporting now along the far side, trying to work it out of there. Couldn't do it as uh, they tighten up back there, the midfielders. And for Midwest Wings. Neil Neal's your score in the first half. A play. And it goes out of play to the far side, and it'll be a throw in for the Wings. The Wings, who've won their own tournament a couple of times. The fall and winter sessions. And this one is sent back behind the goal. And so it'll be a goal kick for the sporting. The Midwest Wings have also won the uh, Chicago Magic Tournament over there. Won that uh, Disney Showcase Tournament in 2007 and twice in 06. And this year have they been uh, second in the Indoor Nationals. Sporting having a hard time trying to get it on out of their own half of the field. And on the far side, out the carom. And it still will be in the hands of the yellow and black, who, as you've seen, have been going left to right on your picture screen. Noontime affair here at the San Diego Polo Club. Will Allen Field in the city of Del Mar. North of San Diego City. And the 18-yard box now accelerating at a sporting. Nearly wanted to have a player to run onto it in that six-yard box. Couldn't get one. And if they would have, they probably would have put it in the back of the net. As that was a big run that time by Lyndon Gooch. And Gooch looking for somebody to thread the needle to, and nobody was there. And the first big challenge of the game for the sporting. Now they're over in the corner now. And that ball is sent behind the net, but was it lastly touched down by the Midwest Wings? It probably was. As it looks like it's a corner kick. Tough to see the numbers for the sporting, and we'll do the best we can. But the nature of their uniforms, it will make it tough. So forgive us for any player that's not credited with a play. <clears throat> Gooch retreating back, two players coming on over, and a tumble for the Midwest Wings player now. And here is Kokoyanis. Kokoyanis on the near side. Kokoyanis still dribbling, a slide tackle, nice play that time. Getting back was Alex Gomez on the near side. Gomez, he playing with the one good arm, and the other one taped all up. Neil Neil, your score as is sporting, putting pressure now here only in the uh, last couple minutes against the yellow and black. Outside, outside. No Choa on a uh, far side now. They've got a player and running into the box. His service into the box. The header is out beyond the back line, and it'll be a corner kick. Nicely done that time as Saavedra, I believe it was, in his six-yard box, getting up in the air and protecting his goal. Now to Sporting again, buzzing around, trying to put the first goal of the game after they had to play defense for a long time. On the outswinger, and it couldn't get anything credible on that play as it went out to Kokianis, and he just couldn't control that one. We won the ball, guys. Go bounce. Oh, go all the way. Go that way. And so now, Christian Taborn, the keeper. He had the orange-type shoes now. 
And we have a, uh, the wings are going to go ahead and have themselves a substitution or two, we'll see. Leon is coming out of the contest. And as we see the player turn around, you know, a single substitution. It'll give him credit. That ball up the field, and he's going to be the one coming to the near side trying to keep it in, and it goes out of play. And that is uh, Nikola Bajanik. So Bajanik into the contest for the wings. Gomez getting a diagonal to the central now. Trying to get somebody to run onto it. Chasing it down is Kimmel, but Kimmel can't hold onto it any longer. Here's uh, Georgialis, and he retreating back is Orea. Orea now, he's got to try to man up now, but with a lot of speed is Gooch, and he slide tackle a challenge there, and it goes out of past the uh, end line. And it's going to be a corner kick. Or will it be a free kick right there? It'll be a free kick right there. And almost a warning that time. It was a warning, almost a card. Neil Neil and his boys under 13 match here at the Surf Cup 2008. Midwest Wings need to win in order to continue on. Here in 08, and a nice chip up in the air. Oh, they just couldn't quite control it. But that was a beautiful service into that box. And now another service into the box. Trying to get somebody on it. And a shot, and a just miss on a near post. A try that time by Bryce Clark, and he just missed the near post. Getting a lot of quality chances here are the uh, sporting. And a Northern California contingent now with a corner kick uh, from your near side here. And he's going to outswing it, and it is met with resistance that time by yellow and black, and they have it outside the box. However, it goes back in the box again. Coming in, Taborn is able to find it. Taborn got some help by his defender and almost kept him from the ball, but he's able to get to it before the green and black can do it. Nil nil your score. Averting another big opportunity or sequence of opportunities was the Midwest Wings from that Park Forest, Illinois area, south of Chicago. And outside, Alba touching it, Martin. And it's going to be a throw in for the Wings. George Alice. Demetrius will throw it in, gets it in, into the central now. One by Santa Clara. On the move is Kokianis. He finds Gooch in the interior, and then Gooch is routed out from the interior. Nice defensive play. Gooch still struggling now. Gooch still on the ball, and a good challenge there in the space by his alternate number, Bajanik. Nicola. And tough in his face. Take a and now here's Bryce Clark. Well, they control the soccer ball now. And he attacking half of the field for them with nobody in the deep back, or nobody in their half of the field, that is. And the far side trying to get to it was Flores. And now he has a teammate running onto it. And it goes out of play. It's going to be a throw in. Nil nil your score. Good action here in the first half of action here in this boys under 13 match on the polo grounds. Santa Clara, the sporting now, keeping it in the uh, attacking half of the field. Now getting into the attacking third where Taborn comes out and makes the play. Taborn sending it all the way up the midfield now. And retreating back is Valencia. Sergio trying to push it forward. It goes out of play on the near side. And going to throw it in is Epstein. Epstein gets it in. And the wings on the near side stiffening up. Colquianis to throw in. 
finds a teammate right there, and that's Bryce Clark. Clark under a lot of duress. Clark still has the soccer ball. Finds his teammate Epstein. Epstein getting manned up there. Epstein on the near side. Still controls it with his left foot and his right. And now trying to go around a teammate. Can't do it. Our defender, and they take it away from him. Nice defense on the near side by the wings as they wouldn't allow the uh, sporting to continue on. However, now they win it back at midfield. And now they got a runner in Clark. Clark down to central to his teammate down to central. But he couldn't get that next strike at it was Epstein. And now they push it back to midfield. However, the, the sporting is there with numbers. Man, they'll draw it back and see if they switch it to the near side. And they do. We want to try and see that left side or the right side of the defense for the wings, see if they can try and make things happen again. But it's taken away and sent all the way back in their own defensive third. Coming up to help out there in his space was uh, Saavedra. Saavedra pushing it over, finding a teammate in Kogan. Kogan accelerating. Kogan in a corner, a service into the box, and he almost scores. Kogan nearly had the win going for him that time, and he pushed the keeper, Macias, all the way back towards the line. There's a player down on the field right now, and he's got up, and he's and he back down again. And they're going to take a look at him for the wings, and they might get a substitution. Look like they're going to get a substitution in this game. As uh, Bill Decker, the head coach, coming out to take a look at his player, George Alice, Demetrius. Well, George Alice, I'm going to try to get. They're going to try to get some ice on that. And. Coming into the contest now is uh, Nuno Sheldon. Jonah Nuno Sheldon. And now the far side. And it goes out of play. Knocked out of play on a far side touchline by uh, the Sporting. And so the Wings will bring it in here in the 2008 Move. Surf Cup. Nil nil is your score. Both teams putting pressure, but lately the pressure has uh, been applied a lot by the uh, sporting to where the Midwest Wings have had to play a lot of defense. And they want to try to turn that around a little bit. They're going to have a substitution for the sporting. Pelon Zilong Zochit, number 18, will be coming in the contest, and Christian Aldama will be in the contest. Guys, let's go. We got the throw. Daniel, let's go. Got throw in now. Aldama back there. And now one. Hinnock. Trying to make a move. Hinnock being challenged there. And on the near side, they work it to the near side. Nuno Sheldon couldn't control it. They take it away. And a foul, and it'll be a free kick. Let's go. Let's get numbers up. Come on, guys. Let's get numbers. Coke Giannis. Pelon. And of course, that's uh, Aldama with the free kick. Aldama all the way down to Zilong Zochit. And uh, do we have a call in the 18 yard box? No, we don't. And uh, they play on. Open up, Kyle. Open up. Open up, Kyle. Take a touch. And move. Yes. Koka Giannis. And he's going to work it over to Zilong Zochit. Step forward, Brycey. And it goes over to Epstein. Into the 18-yard box now. Pelon. His shot real weak that time in the left-footed try. Go, go, go. Give so it, it comes give way it. out Kyle. to where they're out of that attacking third now. 
And now they work it back in an attacking third. Rip. And the sporting a player hobbling. Now he might have got kicked in the ankle there. That's March. Common thing in soccer. Saavedra. Ruben Saavedra looking for his teammate. Number eight. And it's going to be a substitution now. Oh, okay. Sorry. Couple of substitutions coming in. And we will mention their names as they touch that soccer ball as they come from, uh, they don't have the numbers on their shorts, so we can't really see it until they turn around. And they're gonna play on here with Zavedra. Zavedra couldn't quite find his teammate Gomez there. And they have to retreat back now, but they have control of it down to central. Open up, Kyle. And giving it away, chasing it down is Kent Andrews. He's one of the players that came in. And it, they have to retreat back. Getting back to it, though, is uh, Martin Alba. And Alba getting it to his teammate along the far side. 50-50 ball. And it's going to work against the wings. It'll be a free kick for the sporting, working towards halftime. Still a nil-nil game here. Very comfortable temperatures here on a Sunday. One second, guys. And in championship games tomorrow, you want to stay in a tournament today, you need to win. And a free kick now, the sporting. And a, and a shot and a goal! He makes one great play around one player and then is able to beat Tayburn on the shot. And it's one nil to sporting. Fine individual play that time as he's able to draw the defender, beat the defender with a step, and then take the shot. And Tabor trying to keep it from going in the back of the net. He found a far post, and it's 1 0, the sporting. Alex Prusa scoring the goal number 13. A beautiful individual play, and it's 1 0 here in the first half. And now going to try to answer is the wings. But one of the things, if they are going to try to answer, they need to keep it out of their own half of the field. And here's the sporting again, putting the pressure on. Not much the co-captain Christian Taborn could have done on that shot by Prusa, who's just a fine individual play. Reminded me of the uh, of that great tournament in the Euro 2008. Sometimes the keeper can try to do all he can, but sometimes you got to give the uh, advantage to the player because he just makes a, a great offensive play. And and no problem for Tabor in that time. As directed at him, Aldama from long distance. Driven out to the wide now. And that's Hinnock. Hinnock getting it to his teammate, trying to find a runner. And let's see. That's going to be a foul, and they're, having, they're going to have a free kick. The wings now, here's a set-piece opportunity here. Late in the first half. Christian Hinnock, one of the captains. He's got it teed up. And they got the stack. Going to try to confuse them with who's going to strike the soccer ball. They got the wall set up. Hinnock, and he gives it to his teammate to take the shot. And off of a bounce, able to be handled by Macias. And 
And they have numbers there. However, able to win it in the back and push it out. And here they go. Uh, the Sporting again. Paylon, but coming out to make the play and take it away is uh, Taborn. Christian driving it down the field. Hanock is there, but he's not going to be able to get to it on a near side. The sporting now. Nice long ball. Paylon trying to get to it, but he could not. As there was a little bit too much pace on it that time. And that's the end of the first half of action. The difference, Alex Prusa, fine individual play to put it in the back of the net, and it's 1-0 after the first half of action. Stick with us. We'll be back for the second half, and you'll be able to see what they're uh, doing at halftime. The coaches are saying, we'll be right back. The Midwest Wings will be going here in the second half, and from right to left, the Sporting. 1-0, Alex Prusa, number 13 for the Sporting, scoring a goal. Hinnock, and the attacking area on the goal, but was he offsides? Was he offsides? If he was, it'll be disallowed. And he was offsides. Uh, it's going to be disallowed. But the Wings moving very quickly to try and make something happen here. Let's go, FC. And that's obviously what they want to try to do to start off the second half. And a challenge over there. Now the Wings. Go, boys. This time they will be going against the wind. They had the wind in the first half, did the wings. You're going to be seeing a, a, a view from the other side of the field due to a request by uh, the team. So that's why you'll, you're seeing it from the other angle. Normally, you see the game from only one angle. Now it's going to be a free kick. Hinnick. Hinnick, the co-captain, setting it up. And remember, they had that stack in the first half of three guys. Hinnick faked it, and let's see if he ends up being the guy striking it. No, the first guy strikes it at all. Just missed the near post. This time, they, they didn't want to have a second guy striking it, and uh, but Hinnick was in the stack anyways. Interesting how the wings trying to confuse the opposition with that. Not a lot of teams do the stack, but the wings say that's the way we, we do business on certain free kicks. Hanock trying to get to it. He can't. And now it's in the central now. And that was a touch by Bryce Clark. Clark still has it. Clark wants to work it out to the far side, but nobody able to run onto it. So back the other way, they have to retreat. Now Clark has it again. Clark looking for a runner, and that time it was uh, a Platon, but he never got to it. And now they have to retreat back now. Here's Platon off the 50-50 uh, ball, and that's going to work against Bryce Clark. And so now it'll be a free kick. Free kick for the Wings. Let's go, FC. Wings down 1-0 in this match. Set up now by Martin Alba. 
Alba, the multicolored shoes, a bending out swinger. Can't have control. And then they get the control only momentarily to be taken away and sent up field. And way off his line is Christian Taborn. But Taborn sends it all the way down a field. He's got Leon on the near side. Leon accelerating toward the box. Leon cannot control it as he's run off that time by Pla Platon. On the near side. Leon again. Michael Leon over to Hinnock. Hinnock in space. He serves it on the far in the back side of the box. And let's see what we got here. We got a corner kick. Brendan, Brent, we need to go. You got to get up a bit. Okay? Chris, you come off your line. Taking it is going to be Martin Alba. Well, Alba is going to take the CK. Set piece try here for the Midwest Wings of Park Forest, Illinois. Up into the box. Hinnock can't get to it. Trying to get to it there is Moreno. And he had a lot of duress. They take it away from him, send it out to the outside. Bryce Clark can't hold on to it, and it goes out of play now. Going to be a throw in now as Saavedra on the near side. Knocked out, but it'll be a Midwest wing throw in. Over to Hinnock. Hinnock running into a player. Hinnock running into another one, and it's going to be a foul against Hinnock. Hinnock feeling that he just wanted to get around a couple of guys, and they were not allowing him to do that. He kind of felt it was more against, should have been against them, but their back was turned on the play. The center ref says no. Gonna go against you this time, Hinnock. And gonna switch it to the far side. But running on to it with a lot of speed there is Prusa. Remember, he scored the goal and his centering pass is awry of the near post. And Taborn, Christian Taborn setting it, setting it up for the goal kick. It doesn't get to Hinnock. He of the two taller players there, and it ends up, and they got to retreat back, and Taborn comes off his line and makes a save at the top of the box. And Taborn with some English on this one, and Platone getting it and stopping it and then tumbling down, and let's see where the call is going to go. It's going to go against the wings as they'll have a free kick. Give him a yellow. Sorry, Paulo. Let's go. Turn it back. And a sporting now with a free kick just beyond midfield. Aldama driving it toward the box. Cut off there. Trying to protect into the corner. They get it away. And it doesn't quite bend where they wanted it to. If it did, they would have had a 2 0 score because they had a player right there in the six-yard box, and Taburn was off his line, out of position, trying to protect. Couldn't quite connect that time, and now they got to retreat back on the near side. As Leon now in the corner with Kogan. And it goes past the inlet. It'll be a goal kick. There you go, Kellen. Goal kick for the sporting. Macias and company. Good job. Macias, a district ODP player. And we can run off those guys for the uh, Santa Clara Sporting. Lyndon Gooch, a regional ODP player. District is Sergio Val Valencia. Another district guy is Andres Ochoa. Regional guy is Sam Epstein. State ODP is uh, David Gillen. District ODP is Nathan uh, Petrie. Another district uh, ODP player is Andrew Platone, along with uh, Kyle Kokianis, Daniel Galvan, and uh, Pelon Zilongzochit. And the regional player is uh, Bryce Clark for the ODP. Lots of those development players are either district or regional for this yellow and white striped with the black numbers. Santa Clara Sporting. The wings on the far side trying to push up, and they couldn't control on the far side touchline. Throw in for the Sporting of Santa Clara. 
Try to work it in their defensive third. Try to work it out of their defensive third of the wings, and they're going to get an opportunity to do it right now. Yeah, so throw it in. Yes or no? One nil your score. Santa Clara Sporting leading on Prusa's goal. In the first half. Here in the second half now. And a through ball. They've got a runner now in the box. He accelerates and then a beautiful um, challenge that time and a takeaway. However, they're still on a soccer ball and it'll go past the goal line. And it's going to be a goal kick. Sub Substitution for the wings as Nikola Bajanik. It's going to come into the contest for the Wings. Martin, you're on your own back there now. Christian. You're going to move up to a forward, center forward. And a little adjusting positionally. Head coach Bill Decker. On the far side. Touch there by Huzinius. Off to Karam now. Comes over to Nuno Sheldon. Or rather, that was uh, Bajanik. And it goes out of play. Intercepted as they had players intercept that soccer ball. And this one goes right to Christian Taborn being able to make the save from long distance. And it's pushed out of play. Pushed out of play by Aldama. Going to be a throw in. Leon trying to control with the head action. Could not. And throwing it in is Platone. Andrew Platone, and he's got a teammate who was able to control it nearly. And had a lastly touch out by the wing. So. Thrown in again by Santa Clara. Goes out of play in their own defensive third. Midwest Wings will throw it in. Platone intercepting. Guys, we gotta win balls here. And they're gonna go in the other direction with a counterattack. However, retreating back there nicely was Galvan, keeping it from going in that attacking third. Epstein going to throw it in. Looking for Hinnock, but he couldn't control it that time. And now they looking for a through ball, and they have a player in the central. But nicely done that time, positioning wise, was uh, Saavedra. He was 1v1 with the striker in that last sequence. Now to the outside. Moreno playing tough in the space. Tony Moreno, he falls down though this time and they able to get the touches now. And out on the top, coming out nicely, there was Leon. And the long ball looking for Hinnock. Hinnock trying to get around that defender. He ran out of real estate. So now it'll be a throw in though, because it was lastly off of the Santa Clara Sporting. Gooch. On the intercept. Bringing it down from for an air attack to the ground and it goes out of play in the far side touchline. It'll be a throw in though for the wings in the attacking third. The wings now looking for somebody to control it over there. Hinnock getting another teammate now. Only one in a deep back, and he's in the uh, and they bring it all the way back to Taborn. You got to drop wide, Michael. Placing a lot of attacking players, and Taborn gets to it just in time. He knew he had to kick it if he was past the 18 yard box and he waited for it to roll to him just in front of the striker. And that was a gamble. Here's Hennock. Hennock. There you go, Chris. 
Goes out to the wide and out of play, and Jimmy Williams grabs it there, the assistant coach. There you go, big guy. Come on, come on. Michael Leone will throw it in. Yeah, yeah. Leone to the red cleats. Gives it to the guy with the orange cleats. He swings it to the box, and it comes on a quick touch, but back the other way that time by uh, Pelon. And that was almost dangerous that time. Job, Ryan. As he kind of did a no look pass. They got it down the field, though, at midfield. And they've got numbers there for the yellow and black. Hinnick. He's got his teammate. Nice touch. And a ball played over to Leon. Leon gives it back to his teammate on the near side. And um, he's got it again, Kogan. Kogan in the corner. But a nice challenge that time by Aldama. Jake and Michael Leon playing give and go. Going to be a substitution for Bill Decker's squad. He wants to get a fresh player in. Matthew Kimmel's coming in as Demetrius Georgialis coming out. Go Tanner, go Tanner. And it goes past. Saavedra, he would have loved to have been able to control that one. Going to be a throw in now for the sporting of Santa Clara. David Gillen, one of those ODP guys I mentioned. There's a lot of them on a sporting. Pelon trying to make that move. Zilong Zocic. And all the way down. And oh, Taburn had to stay controlled that time and focus on that ball as the striker beating down on him. And he was able to get to that ball. Still keeping the game at 1 0 here in the second half. Bajanik couldn't kid it. And now here they go back again. That's Gillen. Gillen on a long ball, but too much pace on it for Pelon. You got to win this. Alex. And on the near side, that ball's going to roll out of play. And it'll be a throw in, though, an attacking third for Santa Clara Sporting, leading 1 0 in this match here in the second half. It'll be uh, Platon, Andrew Platon throwing it in. Platone over in the corner, but nicely done that time. Leon cutting it off. He says, you're gonna have to try your pass again. One nil, you score. Platone gets it to a teammate to strike it up in the air, but they can't get the header onto the net. Now they still control it. They do get a strike and lastly knocked out. It's still in the box and it'll be an offsides call. Going to be a free kick. Right out of the interior of the 18-yard box. Platone. And now here's Hennick looking for somebody. He draws it back. Hennick now going to switch it to the far side. He's got his teammate over there, Moreno. Moreno headmans it up. Moreno's got it to Hudzius. George Hudzius. Retreating back the defenders and Tabor makes a save. Oh, he came out with both feet and he's down right now. Big save to keep it one nil. And we'll take a little bit of time out as they take a look at Christian Tabor. Go. There you go. Okay. The throw in from the far side, Santa Clara Sporting. And from the outside, they're trying it again, and they tried to flick on, but just couldn't quite get it with Platone. He was manned up pretty tough that time, and he had the right idea, but he wasn't going to get get a hold of it like he wanted to. And since it was knocked out by the wings, they are going to get a corner kick. 
Platone hurting there. And Taburn still trying to, wincing, trying to collect himself. And the outswinger. And Taburn, he knocks it away again. Great save. And let's see. Might have been an offside. It was an offsides call. But he's still stretching out after being hurt. Kept it from going in the net. Just the hustle in this game. Knowing they have to win to continue on in the tournament in the corner, and they don't have anybody to flick it on. And were they offsides again? Yes, they were. Defenders and Taburn trying to do all they can to keep this a one nil game from the defensive side, and they want to hope that maybe one of their attackers, one of their strikers can tie it up. Araya comes into the game. Brandon Araya, 29, for the Wings. Pushing it out to the wide. Who's going to get to it first? It's going to be Taburn. And he drives it down to midfield. The wind is going to break it down. But they got Araya there to Hinnock. Hinnock now. Nice little pass to the interior. Looking back for Hinnock and had too much pace on it. Actually, he was trying to go to the outside and it didn't get to him. Here's on Leon. Leon trying to get it over there to Araya. And he might have swiped at it and got a player there. Free kick, and here they go into the 18-yard box with a runner into the corner. Can he still control it? He does, and it's going to be an offside call. A little bit too much that time as Gooch was trying to make that big play and try to get that comfort goal. Still 1-0. Still a chance to make this go into overtime. The yellow and black from the Park Forest, Illinois area. South of Chicago to South Side. Hennig. Hennig now with a soccer ball. Hennig weaving. Hennig still on it. And it's deflected that time by Bryce Clark. Beautiful play. And now here they go with the runner, but uh, Tabern has it. And he gets it up to his teammate there, Alba, Martin Alba. Alba playing with it too long, and they take it away. They dispossess him, and here's Clark, but it's uh, deflected, coming up into space. A few players from both teams, and on it now is uh, Hudzius, and he can't control it, but coming on over there is Alba. Alba keeping it in. Alba from the back trying to get somebody of yellow and black to run onto it. They can't control it. As playing well in the midfield area. Nicely done by Santa Clara Sporting. And on the near side, it goes out of play. Chasing it down, Jake Kogan. Platone is going to throw it in for Santa Clara. The Northern California team. The team that was uh, in the State Cup, the U.S. Club Soccer, they were in the semi. They were semifinalists. They were regional uh, finalists in the U-12 last year. And now on to it is Epstein, and he's got a runner. What's he gonna do? He's gonna beat Tabor. He'll take a shot, but can they get back to it? And they knock it out of play. Tabern tried to cut him off, but he didn't have the speed to stick with Mr. Lyndon Gooch. And Gooch got a shot, but his teammates were able to, that is Tabern teammates, able to get back and protect. And let's see who, we have a yellow card. So he got a shot off. And How is that a foul? Terrible call. Terrible call. And a couple uh, player getting a yellow card. I don't know if it was two players getting a couple uh, yellow cards, but they have to be careful. Hey, well done, And what they're going to call is a penalty kick. Not even your 
referee gave that linesman. Great job. And a penalty kick. That's a joke. A gooch. As they say, Tabern created the situation. Gooch against Tabern. Landon Gooch, goal. Tony, thanks a lot, linesman. Well done, well done. linesman. You got the shot well on. That's terrible call. Terrible. Go, Ryan. Let's go, Ryan. Come on, Ryan. You got it, Ryan. Let's go, buddy. Get there, get there. Good effort, Ryan. Try. That's an absolute embarrassment. These kids come all the way here to play for you. You're, you're terrible. You're lucky. Let me guess. He was at that goal scoring opportunity. Right, that's the goal scoring opportunity going away from the goal. Learn your rule. That's he got terrible. the shot on. Yeah. Away from the goal. That's the goal scoring opportunity. That's terrible. Hennig now. And on the near side. The referee didn't even call. That's his call. Brandon Araya now to the far side, trying to find a way to get somebody to run onto it, and it's going to be a free kick. Hey, Russell, Let's go, Paolo. Your bed line, tees it up, but remember they like to have the stack. Time running out here in this uh, second half in the game. They really off the set piece, got to try to get it in the back of the net. Down 2-0. The wall is set up by the Sporting. And let's see what they do. They give it to Hinnock, and it finds its way over, but the keeper, Macias, able to make the save. Very creative, and it still found its way over to Macias. Boy, they're going to be something to have to deal with in the uh, oncoming years when they continue to try to confuse the opposing team with their uh, free kicks, and they're only going to get better at it. Santa Clara Sporting. They are going to throw it in into the corner, and they don't really have to do much because they have time on their side. Meaning they and they got two goals to go with it. However, Midwest wings, long ball, play it all the way down, and Hinnick will not have a chance to get to that one. Way too much pace on the ball for Hinnick. Gambling is what the Wings are going to be trying to do here. And they pretty much have to in order to stay in the tournament. And there's Gooch again. He wins it in the corner, but there is a defender there with him, and that is uh, Saavedra. It'll be a CK. Bryce Clark to his teammate in the corner. And it'll be a throw in. Up the field, the wings who are running out of time trying to get something going. However, Santa Clara winning it. Coming in now, Jordan Nickel, number 12, and Nick Newman, number 17, coming into the contest. In the corner now, Gooch trying to make another move. And that's the end of the match.
a very good game here at uh, the Polo Grounds, Will Allen Field, Del Mar, California. And we just hope that you've enjoyed most of the action in this match today. The final score, two for the Santa Clara Sporting and nil for Midwest Wings. And Miss Midwest Wings will be out of the tournament. And they have had a good tournament, though, as they come out here to Southern California and try to do the best they can to win this one in the boys under 13, but it, it will not be today or this time. We'll be back with some comments of those who participated in the game today. Porter back here at the Surf Cup 2008, and I'm here with the uh, keeper for this uh, fine Midwest Wings team, and that's Christian Tabern. Christian, uh, you know, you played a fantastic game, laid your heart out out there. What happened on the play when you got injured? We thought that you had kicked it with your feet. Um, I landed on my back wrong, and I guess I kind of twisted it or something. Oh, okay, okay. Well, um, unfortunately, you guys can't keep going, you know, to put more stress on your back, but there again, now you get a chance to rest it up and everything. Um, uh, your thoughts about your teammates this whole tournament? Well, we all played like we, we all like worked 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 our butts off, and mm -hmm. we just did a, a great tournament. Mm -hmm. So. Well, it was, and um, you know, you guys uh, kept this one real close today, and uh, you know, they get the uh, the penalty kick at the end, but uh, you know, you guys had put pressure on them throughout the game, and maybe a couple breaks here and there, and maybe you could have pulled this one out. But um, how's been your trip out here, other than that? Um, it was real fun. Okay. It was a great time. Okay. Good. All righty. Um, what school you go to? Um, Aquinas Catholic Academy. Okay. You like that school over there? Yeah. All right. Good. Well, I hope you have a, a real nice trip going back home. And uh, I know you guys are successful in these tournaments and stuff. So, you know, it, it, it'll, it'll turn around back when you get back to the Midwest. Okay. Thank you. Hey! Okay. Some more of the wings. You want to step up and speak to us? Christian! And you're? Christian Hinnock. Christian Hinnock, another of the uh, fine players for the Wings who was hustling today. And uh, talk about, uh, you know, a little bit about the game that, that, that you were trying to type of pressure you were trying to keep on them all game long. Um, try to stay forward and send me in some balls. So mm -hmm. we could try to score and give them a little bit more pressure. Uh -huh. And that's all. Okay. And... That's it. <laughs> okay. Was that something you guys uh, do just about every uh, tournament, every game? Um, yeah, mostly. If mm -hmm. we're down a little, we'll put up some strong guys. Mm -hmm. So we could try to go out and win it. And we tried to do that today, but it didn't work out for us. Okay. All right. Well, um, so where do you go from here? Is there, when, do, when does your season start again? Uh, cup next month. Next month yeah. in August? Yeah. Okay. And you guys keep winning your tournaments. You keep being very special out there in the Midwest and and, uh, and the big tournaments. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, I like one thing I do like that you guys do differently than just about every club team is you guys have that stack on your set pieces. Who came up with that idea? The way you guys do it. Um, me and Bill and a bunch of our other players. Uh -huh. And yeah, that's it. It's pretty confusing because they really, the ball ends up at the keeper in the end, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> what school do you go to? Liberty. All right, you like this school? Yeah. Right. Okay. Good job, Christian! Anybody else for the Midwest Wings? And uh, and you are? Ruben Saavedra. Okay, Ruben, talk about, uh, you know, your coming out here and the way your team has played for the most part. It was great, and the team played really well for the whole tournament, and we did really good. Okay, all right. Was, was it a lot of fun, even though, you, you know, you can't continue on into Monday? Yeah, it was fun. 
It's still fun. All right. You guys gonna go anywhere and uh, uh, you know uh, maybe go see uh, Sea World, or are you guys gonna do anything before you leave, or is it just go back on and get on the plane? No, I th it's up to our coach what we're gonna do. Okay. All right. Maybe go get some pizza or something like that. Probably. <laughs> All righty. Uh, what school you go to? Washington. All right. You like that school? Yes, I do. All right. Well, good luck in the future. Let me talk to another one of your teammates. There could be two or three. Come on up. Me two or three. All right. And uh, you are? George Hootie Shoes. Okay. Uh, George, talk about um, the fun of, um, the, you know, the different experience of different club teams that you had to face in this term. Um, in San Diego, they're real good here. And it's like that in Chicago, but I think they're a lot better here. Uh, a lot better. So it really prepares you guys uh, for, um, you know, the kind of soccer that uh, maybe, who knows, maybe you can make it to college one day and, and can play soccer in college or something like that, right? Yeah. Okay. All righty. Um, is there anything you, you're going to take back with you uh, as far as the experience or, you know, just the bonding of your teammates? I mean, anytime you got to jump on a plane and come out here together and stuff, you get closer to each other. Yeah, we do. We get a lot closer. Uh-huh. And we go to a lot of tournaments together, and uh, we're always together. All right. All right. Great, great, great. What school you go to? Uh, Griffith Middle School. Okay. You like that school? Yeah. All right. Let me talk to your teammate. Jay Cohen. Okay. Hi. Tomorrow he's going to be Did you say hi? Yeah, I said hi. Okay. <laughs> all right. Uh, hello to you, too. And um, it was a lot of fun, wasn't it? Yes, it was. Okay. Talk about the, the, maybe the things that you're going to remember, uh, maybe that you can bring with you the next time you come out here to the Surf Cup. I wish I could bring the sun with me. <laughs> <laughs> and um, the heart that we put into the game. Okay. Yeah, you guys did put a lot of heart into the game today. Um, is there anything maybe that you saw, and this is a question that I don't think of too often, that you saw out of some teammates that maybe you hadn't seen before that's going to help you in the future? I mean, is there anything that you saw out of some guys that, that seemed to, to develop them a little bit more? Um, yes. Um, they work really hard. Uh, it, seemed, it seemed like some guys are maybe more ready than you thought they were. Huh? Yes, they were. All right. Sounds good. What school do you go to? Um, St. Mary's. Okay. You like that school? Yes. All righty. Well, thank you. Let me talk to one of your teammates. <laughs> Hola. Hola. <laughs> All right, guys. And you are? I can't really talk because my voice. But I am Alejandro Alex Gomez Carves de la Torre de Tord. Okay. Right. <laughs> uh, that's, a, that's that special family, right? Yes. Okay. Right. Okay. That's my makeup name. Okay. But it's not the Torre de Tord. <laughs> okay. uh, so talk a little bit about uh, your experience coming out here. Oh, um, it was very good. Yeah, I liked it. Yeah, we we really played hard. But I guess the other teams were better than us or something. They probably got more ready, and we did it. But yeah, we really tried. What teammate? Team? Uh, or uh, what school do you go to? I go to Whiting Middle School. Okay, you like that school? Oh yes. <laughs> All right, <laughs> All right. I, I made you talk too much, and you are. But well, good job. Mario Novo. Okay. Uh, Martin, talk a little bit about uh, this tournament for you. Well, it was a fun experience for us, and we wanted it really bad. But the other team wanted it much better than us. So they they can move on instead of us, I guess. All right, all right. But uh, you learned something for the future, right? Yes. Never give up. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, anything you're going to take with you about uh, coming out here to Southern California? Um, experience, really. Okay. Yeah. All right. Just experiences never go away. No. No. And the memories. Yeah, that's it. Yes. What school you go to? Taylor. All right. You like this school? Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> All right. Let me talk to one of your teammates here. And you are? Michael Leon. Okay, Michael. Talk a little bit about the game today. Well, me and him are getting borrowed on this team. Yeah. So uh, we just played our hearts out and then came out with came out with the loss. It was a lot of fun playing with these group of guys. Yeah, it was awesome. Yeah. And you can take that with you uh, to your the team that you play on uh, back there. What's the name of that team? Uh, PQ Premier. Okay. Yeah. Cool. cool. All righty. Um, what school you go to? 
Wagenheim Middle School. Yeah, you like that school? Yeah, it's cool. And uh, you are? Tony Moreno. Okay. Tony, again, um, being borrowed, but to play out here and stuff, uh, it's pretty good, isn't it? Yeah, it was pretty fun. With these guys. Yeah. All right. Had you been to the Surf Cup before? Yeah, last year. Last year, okay. Uh, all right. Uh, what school you go to? Good Shepherd Catholic School. Okay. You like that school? Yeah. It's fun. All right. Any any last thing you remember about the trip out here, this experience in the tournament? That this team is very fun. And they're good. Okay. All right. Uh, thank you very much. And let me talk to you, uh, some more teammates from the Wings. And uh, you are? Jordan Nickel. Okay. Jordan, talk about uh, being playing in this tournament. Uh, it was really great to come out here and play soccer. Mm -hmm. It was really fun to, uh, I don't know, it was just great. Weather was pretty good, wasn't it? Oh, yeah. It was way better than in Chicago. Okay. All right. Uh, one of those times, one of these days, I'm going to have to go visit the Windy City. I'll have to pick my time, though, because uh, I don't have too many park or any uh, thick coats. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but anyways, um, anything that you're going to uh, remember as far as uh, how your teammates played? Uh, did you see anything, again, as I asked one of your other teammates, that, that's going to show you that maybe you guys can win some more tournaments when you go back home? Um, it, just being accepted to this tournament is really great. Because it's a great tournament, and even though we didn't win or do that good, we still gave it all that we could, so that's all that matters. Okay. Hey, well, that's good. What school you get to? Uh, Lansing Christian. Right. Well, you know definitely about the meaning of sports. Give it all you can and then leave it on the field. All right, let me talk to uh, one of your teammates. And you are? Matthew Kimmel. Okay. Talk about um, this tournament. Um, it's, it's hard. Yeah. <laughs> and, um, it's nice out here because I've never been to San Diego. Mm -hmm. And so uh, you like this conducive weather, and that's why a lot of, well, years, many years ago, there wasn't hardly anybody out here, but now all of a sudden now we have millions of people out here, so <laughs> they like to stay. Um, you, you guys can take some things back home to make it fun, more fun for you in the future, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, you know, because a lot of those other teams are going to be trying to get better on you, right? Yeah. But you, you got some more form, right? Yep. Okay. <laughs> All righty. Uh, what school you go to? I'm homeschooled. Okay. Good. How do you like that? It's fun. It, you can. It's flexible. You can go places. All righty. Uh, thank you very much. And let me talk to one of your other uh, teammates here. Watch out. And you are? Kenton. Okay. And uh, talk a little bit about, uh, what's your first name? Kenton. Oh, Kenton. No, what's your last name? Andrews. Okay, Kenton Andrews. Okay. Kenton, talk a little bit about this tournament. Uh, it's really good. The teams are hard, and they play aggressive. Mm -hmm. And so do we. And we came out to win, but it didn't happen. Okay. Is there anything you're going to take with you about this tournament, you know, that's going to help you in the future? Uh, play more aggressive. Okay. Uh, that's it. <laughs> All right. What school you go to, Ken? Liberty. Okay, you like that school? Yeah. All right. Have a safe trip back home. And you are? Okay. Uh, Tommy, talk about this tournament. All around it was just tough, seeing all these different styles of teams, and it's just really fun. Yeah. yeah. So it's, uh, again, you got your teammates now. You know what they're going to do in certain situations, don't you? Yep. Okay. What school you go to? <laughs> Southwest Chicago Christian. Okay. You like that school over there? Yep. All right. All right. Well, uh, have a safe trip back. Okay. And you are? Jonah. Who's that again? Jonah. Okay. Uh, talk a little bit about this tournament for you. It was a good experience. We learned that we, there's a lot of hard teams out here, and we hope we can come back next year or two years and play them again and okay. hopefully have a better um, get to the quarter or semifinals. Uh, you guys are really uh, coached well, and uh, you guys were in this game all the way to the end. Um, what school you get to? St. Mary's. 
Okay, you like that that skull over there? Um, not really. <laughs> Just try to deal with it best you can, huh? Yeah, yeah. All right, let me talk to your teammates. Have a safe trip home. And you are? I'm uh, Nicholas Newman. All three of you guys want to go at the same time here? Yeah. All righty. And you're uh, Nicholas, uh, what's your last name? Newman. Okay. Nicholas, talk about uh, this tournament for you. Yeah. Uh, it was a pretty big tournament. We worked two weeks very hard, mm. lots of sprints. And uh, we came out here with the desire to win. Okay. So um, when we get back, we're going to go to more tournaments and hopefully win. Okay. Next year, we hope to return. All right, good, good. What school you go to? I go to Forest Trail. All right, you like that school? Uh, no. <laughs> Not very much. Okay, all right. Well, let me talk to your teammate and have a safe trip home. And you are? Nicola. Nicola! And what's your last name? Boschnack. Okay. Yeah. All right. Talk, talk, talk about this tournament for you. Uh, I think we played really good, and if the linesman didn't call that, the bad penalty, and if the was not offside, we could have won this, the game. Okay. All right. Well, um, you know, it's kind of one of those things in uh, tournaments uh, or, you know, in youth sports, uh, you never know, you know, they, this a judgment call and all that stuff. But uh, you guys, you guys have learned a lot about this experience uh, just being out here and it's going to make you tougher right yeah yes mm. <laughs> all right. what school you go to sacred heart all right you like that school no <laughs> <laughs> you're going to try to deal with it best you can we'll have a great summer all right all right all right bye, bye. and you are dimitri dragas okay talk a little bit about um just the way the parents were the coaches just everything just experience of getting out of here and and being set up in the right way for this game the parents and coaches were very supportive i think we did really good but i think the tournament didn't go our way okay well you know was this the first time you guys have been in the uh, surf cup yeah okay so you learned a little bit about this thing you'll be more ready for it next time around right hope we practice harder and get win it next year okay good, good. well that's a great attitude what school you go to mobile right middle school you like that middle school it's very fun <laughs> one last thing you like to say uh looking at the camera for everybody and and in uh deference to uh your teammates go wings all right there you go Okay, and I don't know if we're going to be able to get a coach here. Coach! Coach! This is Coach Bill Decker and a um, fine coach team. Uh, you, uh, you've got these guys um, mentally and physically prepared, and um, it's a long journey, but to come out and put out this type of performance in this tournament, is uh is really really spectacular so um i know you got to be feel comfortable about your performance over the whole couple of days yeah we knew that it would be uh an entry to a, a new higher level <laughs> and um from there we go back we work and hopefully we get accepted again and i think we can improve on it but our kids have been great and we trained uh incredibly incredibly hard to get here and we've gone from a certain level to a higher level and now we gotta build on that but i'm proud of our guys they've done well so well, that's one of the things i've noticed in this uh surf cup um that over the years you know you've seen soccer clubs advance improve be more determined more focused and the next years the following years they come out here and, and they're tougher and tougher to deal with and uh and it just helps their region doesn't it it does and, and you know one of the things that we are proud of we're from region two in illinois and we come as a club team we don't borrow ODP players and, and uh, too many players from other clubs and uh, we want to we want to be our own team our own guys and compete amongst the best of the best which is what the surf cup's all about and you know I think we, I think we've entered the stage and now we have to to improve on it and we're going to do it by not borrowing a bunch of outside players to make us better we want to make our own better and uh, lead them on to bigger things be, be a big fish in a in a big pond so that's what <laughs> well we're said and Bill uh, um, thank you again thank for calling you. us out and everything, and, yeah. uh, and we hope to see you guys in the future here at the Surf Cup or, or maybe in a tournament where we can go to you. Okay. Well, if they'll have us back, we'll call you. <laughs> <laughs>
All right. All right. Thanks a lot. Thank you, Bill. Okay. And so that's going to do it here from the San Diego Polo Grounds, the Will Allen Field here in Del Mar, where you saw the final score. It was two for Santa Clara Sporting, a nil for the visitors from Lake Forest, Illinois, the Midwest Wings. I'm Greg Porter, Par uh, Park Forest, Illinois. And uh, I'm Greg Porter for George Lyon Video Sports Production with Steve Mailer on the camera saying take care of yourself, God bless, and save this one on the hard drive. We'll see you next time.